What do we know about the project so far? So what we know is that it's top secret. It's operating sort of like a startup inside Apple. It has the ear of Tim Cook. It has the right funding. And like you said, it has a bunch of, you know, ex-aerospace engineers and executives all working on a plan to be able to let iPhones and other Apple devices receive their data directly from Apple developed antenna towers, satellites, and equipment that would interact with satellites, sort of in a way bypassing or at least aiding some of the wireless networks like carriers that we have today around the world. What are they hoping to achieve with this? This is part of Apple's goal, and this started under Steve Jobs and now has really been you know, accelerated by Tim Cook, to basically own everything. Right? If it was Apple's call, they wouldn't really have to deal with anyone. They would just be their complete own entity in terms of their supply chain, in terms of the companies they need to work with. For example, they're working on new chips to replace Intel and both the iPhone in terms of modems, in terms of computer processors for the Macs. They've done all sorts of new components for their devices. Satellites is another way of enabling that to get the most important thing in these devices, and that's connectivity to data. Where are we in this long process? <laughs> we are very early. We are in about year two or three of this initiative, this thinking inside Apple. And I would say we have another three to five to even seven years to go. This is a very long timeline. This is very stealth, very early, very small and exploratory team. So we're quite a ways away on this one. You know, it's interesting. You talk in your story about how Apple rarely goes into initiatives that they can't see some profitability or a light at the end of the tunnel. How do they see that and when? Yeah, I mean, I think they see the light at the end of the tunnel here as a way of enabling to do more stuff in-house, right? Imagine being able to beam data from a satellite to your Apple Watch or to your phone, your iPad, your Mac, devices in your home, and them really not needing to rely entirely on the carriers. And so that light at the end of the tunnel they see. And the future is super long, right? They are in no rush to do this. If it takes 10, 15 years to do, that's still good enough. Apple's not going away anytime soon.